What's going on, guys? Gilly here. Just wanted to share some thoughts on um, Death Stranding, right? I first remember Death Stranding. Um, I'm not quite sure if you guys remember that first-person horror uh, demo that was on the PS4, which was incredible. Uh, it was called PT. I think it was something of uh, Guillermo del Toro. And I want to say his, Hideo Kojima had a, a thing going on. Um, if I'm wrong, forgive me. I think it was, I don't want to say it was, uh, Mikami. I think it was Kojima and they kind of collaborated on like this horror game and I still have it downloaded on my PS4. I'm not deleting that anytime soon. Um, it was a freaky game, spine chilling, whatever, but I digress. The point is if you did something in that game, you unlocked like a, I don't know, 20 second trailer of that, of the new game that was to feature, del toro and kojima um death stranding and i don't even think the title was called death stranding by then if it was i could have forgotten but they showed norman reedus um and there's i'm sure there's a ton of norman reedus, uh, norman reedus fans out there uh from the walking dead daryl he is one of my favorite characters um although i kind of lost interest in the show pretty much early on i mean i still watch it but for me it just oh it's an apocalyptic mess and whatever that's gonna be an old that, that's gonna be another story but anyway it looked interesting so i know a lot of people have been wondering what's going on i know just recently they released an eight minute gameplay trailer and i'm just gonna say this it looks amazing from a graphical standpoint it looks powerful it looks amazing and they didn't hold back as far as the a-list characters there's quite a few um known uh character actors in there that make an appearance in the game um yet what is the game about i mean when you play a trailer for the most part you kind of know what's at stake you kind of know what you're getting into if you're going to be the hero you kind of know what you know what you, obstacles you have to face and in a video game that's important now don't get me wrong you know kojima is a genius um i don't know if you guys have remembered, I'm sure you have, who hasn't, Metal Gear Solid, right? All the Metal Gear Solid games, Sons of Liberty, Snake Eater, Metal Gear, it, just, it goes on and on and on. Um, and if you like Metal Gear, it's like G.I. Joe anime, CGI, it's just, it's over the top. And of course, you get lost in the plot twists and the, it's just, cool. Kojima, just, it's almost like he has so much fun. And, and then there's a lot of cinematics and you just, for the most part, you're just there waiting, waiting when you can resume play. Um, but for the most part, I say he's a genius because he's he's published a lot of great games and revolutionary games. And we're not going to just say that he didn't leave his imprint in the gaming uh, in the gaming industry for sure. So he had carte blanche, free range with Sony. They picked him up after after he uh, Konami dumped him and teaming up with Guillermo del Toro for like this horror type game or whatever it is. It's a, what is it? I'm still trying to figure it out. Um now, when I say it looks promising, graphic-wise, it looks promising, but the dialogue, it's like, from what I understand, it's this post-apocalyptic landscape where the United States is, I guess, uh, decimated. Um, and for some reason, you're doing some type of topographical, like, top topographical work, topography on, like, the landscape, the terrain. You have, like, this backpack. And, like, what are you doing? Um, it looks like it's sandbox exploration you know they, they show like this long ladder so i don't know if it's far as you know they're letting you just go wherever you want trying to explore and what are you doing though i don't know you're trying to do something um apparently you have to restart the world or you got to reboot but there's these demon type entities that look freaky that are there how they get there what are they what are they doing um and then from the trailer it's like you know, we need to restart civilization. We need to start over again. We need hope. But as long as those things are out there, we're never going to have hope. But we need to do it anyway. Like, I don't, it's like, what are you doing? What do you, I get? Like, are you trying to kill these things? But then he's driving a motorcycle, uh, this futuristic type motorcycle. The graphics look great. I'm not going to lie. But like, what are you, what's going on? We're all, you know, <laughs> we're all perplexed. Like, what are we doing in this video game? The cinematics look crazy. Um, they have one one actor. You've seen him as a, as a villain in a ton in a ton of movies. Like his name escapes me. Um, but the trailer closes out with him and like a bunch of soldiers, 
and then they have like red eyes and then he lights a match and throws you know the flames up and you see them to be like skulls i'm not gonna lie it's captivating it looks great but we still are left wondering what is the goal of the game and i believe the trailer was supposed to bring some clarity but for me it just brought more confusion um again we're gonna give kojima a bit of a pass here because it's kojima right so he has that he has a lot of leash he can roam around he can get away with stuff but at the same time as a gamer what am i pre-ordering right I'm not going to lie. I'm going to tell you something. I used to have my pile of shame video games where I would just pre-order the next big thing. And, you know, I wouldn't beat it. You know, it's just, it's just like it gets it, it, it's tiring to keep up. The last day one purchase I made was for Resident Evil 4. Resident Evil 4. My saying Resident Evil 4. Resident Evil 2, the remakes. Forgive me. Um, and that was an incredible game. Um, and I still haven't finished it. I beat um, the two scenarios, they still they got double scenarios. There's still a lot to do in a game. But when you write comic books, when you're a family man, you work in a school, you got to juggle your time. And gaming has took a bit of a backseat. But I'm still following. And I'm still waiting for that revolutionary game like because I'm there. Um, so when Resident Evil uh, 2 came out, boom, I was there, bought it, played it, you know, a couple, put a, posted a couple videos on there, my experience. I loved it. I, oh, I loved it. I wish they'd do that for Resident Evil. Um, a remake like that for Nemesis. I hope they do that. And that's a game that I'll buy day one, hands down, without even thinking twice. Death Stranding. I like Kojima. I love Del Toro, Guillermo Del Toro. I love his movies. I love his, his style, his cinematic style. But it's like, what? Like, am, is this going to be a game that I'm like, day one, yes, yes, yeah, I'm buying it, putting my money in. I'm not pre-ordering this because I don't know what I'm getting into. I don't know, is it going to be that revolutionary you know, game like when Grand Theft Auto Three came out for the for the for like it was a PS Two, like that was revolutionary. Like that was like the sandbox game. That was like wow, it was revolutionary. When Halo came out, the original Halo on the Xbox, that first person shooter, it was revolutionary. It was like wow, you know, when these games come out, you know, Resident Evil, you know, on PlayStation, but wow, survival horror, like wow, you know. So when it's a revolutionary game, game buying it. When Mass Effect, the first one came out. Boom, bought it without hesitation. Wow. Um, Couture, Knights of the Old Republic for the Xbox when I came out. Boom, you know, bought it. Wow. So there's games that I will not hesitate to pull the trigger on. But Death Stranding, it looks great. <laughs> but what what's going on? I mean, is it, what's, what's, I don't know. For the gameplay, you know, you see Norman Reedus, he's punching around. He's punching. It's a, who is he? What does he do? You know, is he is he like a combat specialist? Is he like what? What? I, I'm telling you, I, I've again, I, I I don't know what I'm getting into, so I wouldn't be putting my money down. This seems like a game where I could literally wait six months after it's released, seven months after it's released on a Black Friday sale for twenty bucks or thirty bucks, maybe pick it up. I mean, it's not show. I mean, it's just not grabbing me like that. Um, I've practically practically been left death stranded. As far as understanding what the game's uh, going, uh, what's it, what's it about, and uh, what's going on with it. But um, anyway, any gamers here that follow, you know, let me know what's your thoughts on um, Death Stranding. Are you also left Death Stranded? Um, is it looks like something you're gonna just put money in and buy right away blind? I'm, I'm tired of blind buys. I'm tired of blind buys. I'm, I'm just tired of that, especially with games. I want to know what I'm getting into. I want to see some good footage. I don't get hyped up any as, as I used to. I'm very very frugal. And I just want to make sure I put my money where, where you know, give it the value it deserves. And um, so I won't uh, be pre-ordering it, uh, although I'm curious about the game. So, you know, anyway, guys, let me know what you think. If uh, Death Strand is going to be a game that you're going to be uh, picking up day one or if you're confused or if you're just like me, you'll probably wait till it comes on a sale and maybe pick it up um, depending on what you see yourself personally through reviews. Um, Days Gone was a game that I was curious about, but again, it just, you know, from what I seen, it, there was just nothing there. I was just like, <gasps> it's just, no, you know, Dying Light was a game that when it came out, it like, it, it, for me, it had, it was like, okay, you know, so I think they have a sequel to that coming out. That was, is a game that I, I consider. So as far as these dark horror type games, you know, Death Stranded, it catches my attention, but again, w what are we getting into? You know, Dead Space, another one. Um, where like if there's a dead space, a new next gen dead space, I'd be all over that. 
Um, so there's some games that, that you know, as far as horror, like you kind of know what you're getting into. Death Stranding, how does this horror feel? It, it definitely does. But, you know, Kojima, what are you doing? You know, you're a creator, right? You got to give you got to give us a clue. You just have to. You don't leave us more confused. Uh, you got to build up the hype. You know, part of part of getting hyped up about something is knowing what it's about. Right. Anyway, guys, this is me ranting about Death Stranding and being left Death Stranded by Kojima. Won't be pre-ordering day one, but maybe it'll come onto my uh, radar one day on a sale and I'll pick it up. But anyway, guys, let me know what you think. Peace.